27 years old. I have avascular necrosis in all of my joints bilaterally, and I've already had four hip replacement surgeries. I try to start my day spiritually, and um, I'm pretty excited because today is a really good day. With sickle cell, it's really unpredictable. Sometimes I wake up and I'm in pain and I can't hardly move or the fatigue is just so much and it's really hard to push through. But today, I feel really good. We call ourselves sickle cell warriors. Warriors? Yes. As in fighting? Exactly. Amazing. Because I don't, I mean, it's something that we really came up with on our own because that's how we see ourselves. It's a chronic illness and it's unpredictable and it's debilitating and you never know when it's going to pop up and there's the fatigue and the pain and you're constantly having to fight that and then I think as you get older, even as a kid, um, you know, missing school and maybe not being able to participate as actively in sports, there's a certain level of isolation and um, probably depression. So being able to fight through all of that. So Tiona, what's the most serious complication you've had yourself from sickle cell disease? Well, my most life-threatening complication actually came when I tried to cure my sickle cell. And I had a bone marrow transplant to try to get rid of sickle cells. So um, I went through chemo and radiation. My mom gave me her marrow. She was my donor. And a couple months into the transplant, I went through rejection. So um, I had really high fevers. My bone marrow shut down for over 100 days. I had to be in the hospital for over three months. So Tiona, in your early 20s, you basically had chemotherapy. Your hair fell out. And then what hair was left, you basically had shaved off. Before any of it fell out, I shaved it all off. And how did um, that feel? Terrible, like a loss, because I was very attached to my hair. I had really beautiful hair. Um, and yeah, I was just really attached to it. It really felt like a loss. But I'm really glad I made the decision to just shave it off myself. Um, because it also made me feel like I had a sense of control. And that whole process was... Did you make your prom? I did make my prom only because I was so determined not to miss it. I knew that if I missed my prom, I would be devastated because you don't get that memory back. So I went to my junior prom in excruciating pain. I could not dance. My prom date was so mad at me. We had a huge fight <laughs> because I couldn't dance, but it just was important for me to be there with my friends and eating food. I didn't really care about dancing. I just wanted to be there to take pictures. So in relation to dating, how's that going? Well, I enjoy meeting people and going out. My, um, the thing for me, it's not even that sickle cell has been the issue. I just have crazy high standards for what I look for. And, um, you know, because I'm an advocate and awareness and advocacy is what I do. Like, if I go out on a first date with somebody and they don't know their sickle cell trait status, that's a huge turn off. So it's incredible, really, to think how much Tiona has been through. Meeting her is an inspiration in itself, hearing her power, her story, but knowing as a physician just how many complications she's experienced. 27 years old, four hip replacements, her bone marrow shut down, she survived that and many, many other challenges, but she's smiling and inspiring others, not only here in America, but all across the world. Just incredible.